the neighborhood I'm from, Jefferson Park, you know, we didn't have a theater program at high school. And actors, to me, were like grown on a different planet somewhere and surely did not come from the neighborhood I did. And um, being exposed to, to great theater uh, at that age, it was, was absolutely instrumental. We were bussed in from St. Pat's to see a production of uh, 12 Angry Jurors or 12 Angry People because it was a mixed gender cast and couldn't be called 12 Angry Men. Oh boy, that was dynamite. That show was, because we did it interracially and we, and one of the things that, that, that happened when we did it with women and in the original script, there are no women. And we, uh, the Henry Fonda uh, part was played by a girl who was Japanese American. It was beautiful, because the kids couldn't figure out who the, who the bad guy was. And I just remember, I mean, I know exactly where I was. I was up in the balcony, you know, house right, and just like white knuckling it, watching this show. And it was so bizarre to me, like, who are these people on stage uh, it's like 10 in the morning right now and, and they're playing this out with these huge emotions and I, and I was leaning forward and I couldn't stop watching it. It seemed to shine a spotlight on a, on a, on a part of a, the city and a kind of a lifestyle that was like, here, you can, you can be a citizen of this place, you know. Life these days feels very surreal, you know, to be on stage answering questions from people in the very spot that I used to sit-in um, uh, was wonderfully bizarre and, and sublime. Just thank God that this theater company has no prior associations with the play I'm directing, because that would make it a lot harder. And especially, thank God they didn't do a movie. <laughs> thank God for SYA. Uh, 